Samir has done wonderful things for the foundation, um, wonderful things for the patients. He's devoted. He was a terrific CMAC chair. He's totally the appropriate person to be honored this year. Samir is good and nice. He is very thoughtful. He's very caring. He's very attentive, uh, thorough, kind, a good listener. And I think those are the attributes that you want in the humanitarian of the year, so to speak. I, I just love working with Samir. He's absolutely wonderful. One of the unique things about Samir is that he really has a sense of personal excellence in everything that he does. He is a wonderful doctor. He is compassionate. He's sincere. He cares about his patients. I personally feel like when I'm there in his room, I'm just not a patient. I'm a person. And he, look, he treats me like that. And he wants me to be active in my own care and active in my own treatment. And he helps me make the best decisions for myself. He really is a role model in the sense where, um, you know, just by going that extra mile, you know, is something that we all really should do anyway, but seeing somebody else doing it, you see how the patients respond to that and how appreciative they are, you really do want to take that extra step. It's typical of Samir that he would be surprised because he is so humble and he tends to reflect on the contributions of others and deflect the honor upon himself, but that's what makes it all the more fun to have him be our Humanitarian of the Year this year because he's so deserving and so undemanding. He is most deserving of the Humanitarian Award because I know that he's a very um, busy professional He's a busy father, family member, has a thriving practice. He has chosen to work with the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation to make sure that they have very um, sound medical advice um, and backing behind what they do. And that's a lot of extra time. And he feels it's that important to take this fight to a broader level. He is a, a renaissance man as far as a gastroenterologist. He runs his own practice. He sees a, a lot of inflammatory bowel disease patients, but at the same time, he takes time out uh, working with the fellows, the medical students, the residents. Uh, he's involved in our education, uh, which is terrific. Well, I'm always impressed watching Samir interact with his patients. His caring is obvious. He's also an excellent educator, and especially with Crohn's and colitis, it's a complicated and daunting disease. And uh, when you educate patients like Samir does, it really helps people understand their disease better and help cope with it better. He managed to combine the academic enterprise and the clinical practice enterprise into a very successful combination. I must say, though, that this kind of an achievement doesn't work unless you get the support of the practice. And the practice is 100% behind uh, Samir. When I first heard that he was going to be awarded the CCFA Humanitarian of the Year Award, I wasn't sure that he was really deserving. I mean, you know, sure he, he works at soup kitchens and he helps old ladies across the street and gets cats out of trees, but I mean, come on, any, anybody can do that, right? Then when I thought about it a little bit though, I remembered that he also volunteer babysits on the weekend for John and Kate, and then I said, this guy is definitely a humanitarian. Who would play Dr. Shaw in a Hollywood movie? Huh, that's a good question. He would probably want someone really like, like a Bruce Lee. He's like, you know, he, I think Dr. Shaw would want somebody like that. Wow, somebody wears a bow tie. Samir, I think, is a, a star unto himself, and so I think he, he would actually have to play himself in that movie. The image that came to my mind was Patch Adams. Uh, certainly not the red nose, that bears no resemblance, but I think in terms of uh, the dedication that that character in that movie showed to the children is the same kind of dedication that Samir shows to, to his craft and to this group of diseases. He has a open, empathic personality that patients love. Um, he has a drive and a tenacity that is something that really helps him succeed. If I could tell him one thing, what it would be is to stay the way that you are, because he really is a pretty 
he's a, you know he's a young doctor and I don't know if he sees often enough the um, admiration that his patients have for him. Just believe and know and trust that that does get across to everybody and keep it up, keep it going, which I don't think he'll have any trouble with. If I could tell Samir one thing, I would tell him to keep doing what he's doing because it works and it's a win-win situation for everybody, for the patients, for him, for the scientific enterprise, and for the practice. Whatever you've been doing all along, Samir, keep on doing it. You really are a fine physician. I hope as part of this award that it comes with a watch because you really just need to learn to be on time. There is no one more deserving of this award uh, than he is. And uh, thanks again for the kidney. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Shaw. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Samir.